Hello, welcome everybody to Let's Play Supreme Commander 2. Now, I've had an extent. I'm not going to uh, go on and on about this, but real quick, it's been a very long time since I uploaded anything gameplay wise. And Supreme Commander 2 is one of my all time favorite games. All time, baby. It's a strategy game, and I hope that you'll give it a chance. Matter of fact, I recommend that you go out. It was a free game for a while on Xbox 360. You know, games with gold or whatever the fuck. Today, we're going to start off just with the tutorial. I know how to play the game. But uh, for the sake of uh, edumacation, I suppose, we are going to do the tutorial first. It's going to take up the entirety of this first episode. And then, after this, we'll get into the missions. I believe, yeah. There should be 18 missions in entirety, so... Welcome to the Quantum Vision Works Armored Command Unit Simulator, or QVACUS. It is brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI Q Industries. Quantum Vision Works, creating a better tomorrow for you today. This simulator is designed to teach you the basics of the battlefield using our patented mm -hmm. Open World Environment Network, or OWEN. First, you need to become familiar with some of the methods for viewing the battlefield. Let's start with panning, also known as scrolling. Explore OWEN using the PAN interface. Good job. Finally, you can zoom in or out to Simple view a closer enough. or wider view of the battlefield. Excellent. Now let's talk about the Armored Command Unit, or ACU. See, it I told you. By you I'm a beast the in this game. The commander is responsible for issuing orders to his or her forces on the battlefield. <clears throat> to do this, you will need to learn how to select units and issue simple commands. Let's start by selecting the ACU itself. Now we're dropping off some rockhead tanks near your current location. Select the rockhead tanks or the ACU and give them a move command to the exit of the facility. The path is marked. There are multiple ways to select groups of units. You have successfully moved units outside of the facility. Now, let's try some simple combat. Some nearby energy production facilities have been flagged as enemies. Select your ACU and rockhead tanks and order them to attack the energy production facilities. Be easy as shit, which is Units will automatically to note, attack when they're within range This right of an bumper enemy. is select all local units. The ACU will never never fall into that as you can see. You can see the units that are selected on the bottom left hand side. Good job. They got what was coming to them. An ACU and engineers can be used to capture enemy units Fucking and structures. Hardly. For example, this nearby warehouse just, is being used Energy gathering enemy. facilities, lady. Use the capture ability of your ACU to take control of this facility. That warehouse can now be put to use to store your own credits. There you go, now. Now, as you can see, it's blue. Up a, notch. a dozen enemy rockhead tanks have been flown in and positioned on the battlefield. We've also dropped off a few more rock oh, no. tanks and some powerful Titan assault bots for your own use. Use your ACU, rockhead tanks, and Titan assault bots to destroy yep. the enemy rockheads. Hmm. Should be able to just send them all right there. Should shoot it. Units 
experience in combat. This gives them levels of metrics, which increase their overall effectiveness. Congratulations. You're making great progress with QBacus. It is brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division <laughs> of QAI Industries. Quantum Vision Works, visualizing peace with advanced weapons technology. The next part of your training covers economy and construction. Your ACU can be used to build the offensive and defensive structures that make up your base of operations. Let's start with the core components of a base. Each type of unit in an army, land, air, sea, and experimental, can be constructed at its own factory. Construct a land factory with your ACU. Each type of unit in an army, land, air, sea, and experimental, can be constructed at its own factory. To assist you in the build process, we've given you two engineer units. Like the ACU, they can be used to build structures. Mass is produced by mass extractors, and these structures can only be built at specific locations. You also note that you also engineers energy, automatically repair energy production facility. Construct an energy production facility which means that they will repair units, structures, Each whatever. If something is injured around them, they automatically repair. Generates mass and energy every second. Okay. Now, if you look at the uh, top left side here, the green part is the mass and then the right side is the energy which is you know the little lightning bolt there this is fairly easy to comprehend basically there are two re well there are three resources in the game the little zero there all the way to the left is research points you now have a base of operations it's time to put that land factory to use it constructs mobile land units for now it's limited to producing a single type Build two rockhead tanks at the land factory. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Something. The plus two next to the mass and then the plus eleven next to the energy is how many will you will get per second. So that's how you can get a good idea as to how much your income is. As, as a matter of fact, you know exactly how much you're getting per second. So. You and what I've done right here. Points for factories. Yeah. Once set, each unit that rolls out of the factory right will automatically move to that location. Uh, I have told the ACU and engineer to assist in building. Basically, they'll shave off a couple Excellent. seconds. You've added more rockheads to your army. Of the overall to production time it takes to build that unit. You can construct add-ons that give them defensive capabilities. Build the shield and tactical missile launcher add-on for your land factory. Damn, I love Sprite. It's good shit. Excellent. Your All factory right. is now better defended. Other add-ons give you anti-air defenses, or increase the unit's radar range. Yep. Now that you have an army, it's time to put it to use. We've placed an enemy base near your position, and its two land factories are producing an army. You must destroy those factories to complete the simulation. My units are super overbuffed. This should not. This should not so take very long. Basically, these are turrets. Yeah, heavy point defense. These will attack land Watch units. Out. There are some heavy point defenses defending those factories. Camera there. Focus down the lost quite a bit of tanks. Good feature.
Congratulations. Watch out. You have successfully completed the first part of QVACUS. This simulator has been brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI. Say that eight times quickly. Quantum Vision Works, creating a better tomorrow for you today. Operation completed. Uh, how about that? S rank. Got to, uh, this is basically how each mission is scored. They'll give you objectives. And as you can see, objectives 13 out of 13 completed. It just so happens that the tutorial, it's not that way on every mission. You don't have to complete every objective on every mission in order to beat it. Uh, time is good, combat is good, research is good, because they you don't have to research in the first tutorial mission. As a matter of fact, you can't. Um, and we completed all objectives. So there you go. And we will do the second tutorial mission. Because that's what we do here. Something else. I believe this game came out in 2010. And this is on the Xbox 360. It is a beautiful game. Welcome once again to QVACUS. In this part of your training, you need Thank to become you. more familiar with the role of technology and its impact on your battlefield performance. You have received new technology courtesy of Quantum Vision Works, including the Demolisher Mobile Artillery and the Titan Assault Bot. These units can only be deployed on the battlefield after they have been researched. Research both of these units. Okay, this is this is how research works basically right here. Is you will get a screen. Now there are a bunch of question marks right now. But as we progress through the campaigns, we should get everything. Uh, thank you, Party Panda. Basically, um, there's one for the ACU, which is, of course, the command unit structures. You know, and they, all of this is pretty self explanatory, but you'll see how that stuff works later on. The Demolisher and Titan are now available for construction at your land factory. Not only See, now we can build them at the land factory. Units, it also improves existing ones. To illustrate, QVACUS will auto-complete research for these rockhead tanks. Observe. An additional barrel increases the amount of damage the units can deal per second. Anti-air gives them the ability to engage air units. Finally, shield technology gives them a considerable defensive boost. Now, these rockheads are a formidable force. Use them to engage an identical number of enemy rockheads, which lack any research improvements. Battle go. was turned into an easy victory thanks to the technology provided by Quantum Vision Works. We also make available to commanders yeah, a you know, research show station. Right here. That's it the runs uh, extra barrel, the anti air, and the shield. You know. Something else you should keep in mind this should be for all land units right here. Construct a research so, not, station not just ECU the rockheads, but engineer. the assault bots and the demolisher artillery. Will, they'll all get those upgrades. Now, what did they say to do using constructor? All right, I was too I was too busy talking over to. Listen to Oops, my bad. And as you can see in the bottom right, it says point eight on the research thing, and that's how many of that I will get per second. The more research stations you build, and I think you have to get a hundred to get a 
Now it's time to give you a taste of what it's really like to be Whole a commander. Point. So it'll be point it just eight per second until I get units. one point. A real commander needs to take in the big picture. For example, one factory is useful for building units, but a true commander has multiple. Controlling a half a dozen units is one thing, but how about 50 or more? As your army increases in size, it can be difficult to manage an army of this size with this close-up tactical view. Mm -hmm. Using Quantum Vision Works patented strategic zoom technology, enter strategic mode. Strategic mode gives you a complete overview of the theater of operations. You can see the whole map. Now that you're familiar with strategic mode, it's time to put it to use. Commanders frequently need to multitask. When you're not building units and structures at or around your base, you're engaging the enemy on multiple fronts all over the battlefield. We've added two enemy bases to your battlefield, one to the north of your initial position and another to your south. Both are protected with point defenses and mobile units, and each factory is producing additional units. We're giving you complete control of multiple armies of mobile units. We're also giving you resources and factories to construct more units and research additional technologies. Using strategic mode, order your armies okay. to destroy the marked target in each of the enemy bases. Okay. I'm not sure if you actually have to go up and do that or not. We'll do that. And then... I imagine that these units, considering how upgraded they are, will have absolutely no difficulty whatsoever going through here and just absolutely wrecking everything. what they do. All resource producing units are prime targets. One down, one more to go. Focus down these heavy point defenses. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the Quantum Vision Works Armored Command Unit Simulator. You will receive your Armored Command Unit certification via the Coalition Quantum Mail Service in the coming weeks. Q Bacchus has been brought to you by Quantum Vision Works, a division of QAI Industries. Quantum Vision Works, creating a better tomorrow for you today. Operation completed. Ayo. Yes, rank again. Damn. Alright. That concludes episode one, everybody. Now that we have a basic hold on how to do everything, we should be able to breeze through the campaign. Hopefully. Thank you once again for watching, and I, and I really hope to see you in the next one.